Okay, welcome to my other video. I will show you what happens if you put metal halide ballast 150 watt to an 8 watt fluorescent lamp. Here's the plug. Let's keep distance. And it's here. Just in case something bad happens. Where? How do I plug it in? Why can't I? I don't think it's going to last. Let's try it again. Oh, no. Nope. I think I broke it out. No, it still works. Awesome. Is it that? Oh no, why? Please work. Oh no. Let's see what happened. Is it hot? Nope. Mm, so I, I break it. Yeah. Awesome. Let's try it again. See what happens. Shit, it's so hard to plug these things in. Oh, come on. Looks like I blow this bulb up, huh? It's not working properly anymore. Oh no. The fluorescent lamp is damaged. But yeah, it's awesome. Not that hot. Let's try it one more time. It should get glow. Oh, still flashing. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is a pulse start ballast. 150 watt, 1 1.8 amps, and it killed it. It killed the fluorescent lamp. Oh, let's check if my battery is still working properly. This cable for this lamp. I have modified metal halide inside there. Let's remove this cable here. I'm not going to touch it for safety. Just discharge it in case there's a cheat. Let's connect these two wires here and see if it still works. Hope I didn't damage this ballast. Oh, I have to hold my camera. Right there. Leave it like that. Time to plug it in. The bell is okay. Yep, it's okay. Nothing wrong with the bell. Still work. Still work. There's my metal halide, like 150 watt. And there's a damage for us. Oh, it's black. Awesome. It's black. And my metal halide started getting bright. Hmm. Okay, let's yeah, throw these things. Here's the bells. My homemade bells. You can see from computer power supply case. I blow on my other video. Okay.